So Dave, we're here at Collectomania today. Tell me what you've been enjoying about the event. It is good meeting uh, the fans and seeing how excited they are about the Harry Potter franchise, uh, and getting the pictures taken. And they also just seem like nice, normal, friendly people. Now, what's been the big question that everyone's been asking you today? Well, the, the, the main one I do tend to get is how long does it take to uh, get into the makeup? Yeah. And I'm just really realising that the makeup took two and a half hours, but it took someone a week to prepare the prosthetic, because really it was a prosthetic that was put on rather than, than makeup being applied. Uh, so, so that's the main question. How does it feel when you're in something like that, though, for Harry Potter? Does it, I mean, is it uncomfortable underneath? No, in fact, the, the odd thing was I'd forget I was wearing a, a, a prosthetic and looked like a fierce werewolf, and I'd just start talking to people normally, and why, why are you looking at me like that? And then, and then there's only like, oh, I'm dressed up like a werewolf. Yeah, so that was odd. No, they did a really good job. The, the, the crew there were, Nick Dudman's uh, team were fantastic. So I didn't realise I was wearing it. And what was it you enjoyed particularly about being part of that whole Harry Potter world? Because obviously it was a huge and is still a huge phenomenon, isn't it? Uh, I, I think the way uh, I was treated when I you know, walked on set, you know, I was in the sixth film, so they were ready, everything was established, but they just treat you like you know, uh, you're know, you one of the family uh, yeah, immediately. It's, it's usually the people you're working with that make a show good, and they were such you know, kind. And you know, big stars, you know, Helen Bonham Carter to Michael Gambon, Alan Rickman, the first day I was on set with those guys, and uh, they are just, oh, hi, Dave, how are you? And yeah, so that was been very enjoyable. Tell me a bit more about what it was like working with those guys. What are they like as actors and as people to work with? Just, just friendly and, and, and they've got the confidence, you know, not to take it overly seriously. Well, maybe Alan Rickman does, but uh, yeah, not, not overly seriously and, and enjoy it. And then, and we're just making films. We're not going to war. You know, we're, we're not uh, laying bricks. It's, it's quite a, a cool, easy job. Uh, and they, they enjoy the, the process. And uh, as soon as the camera stops rolling, everyone's you know, cracking jokes and having fun. What was David Yates like to work with? He was like, like a big, happy child, very, very excited child, you know, to, to, uh, full of enthusiasm uh, and, you know, obviously very bright with a child's imagination, which you need to get the story across, you know. And why do you think it's been so successful over the years, Harry Potter? Because people are still loving it now, aren't they? All the movies and the books. I th it's almost become part of, of history now. I remember my, my daughter reading the books, and, and it, that, you know that was you know a big, you know a big phenomena. And then it went on. So it's like, you know, I, I can remember all those years ago when, when my, my daughter was reading them, and then going to becoming part of it afterwards. And I, I got a little part in the film. So, but for everyone, it's just, and it's so British. So even when it came out, the the, the, the stories that they reflect back on stories that we'd heard before from our, our childhoods and and probably our parents cultures as well there's you know it's timeless and ageless you know deliberately you know concocted like that by jk rowling now you mentioned your daughter there and that she was a fan of the books as well what did she think when you got a role in the in the, one of the films and through the films well she kind of downplayed it i think her friends seemed more excited and even when i invited her to uh, the premiere of the half blood prince i said oh do you want to go and she's like oh maybe when every other woman I knew in the world was calling me up, going, "Can I come? Can I come? Can I come?" Uh, so she she plays it, you know, pretty cool. But you know, I think she appreciates uh, that, that I've got a nice house now. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about another one of the films that you've made, Snatch. Tell me what that was like. Snatch, yeah, Snatch was all right. It was like it's so long ago, and it's the film I get most recognised from. Uh, so that that was, you know, whenever, whenever oh, I know you from somewhere, it's so often Snatch, and it was my first film, and I'm like, you know, didn't see, you know, you know, I've done like 25 films, didn't you see all these, and like, oh yeah, but they remember me flat, which shows like at the time I didn't know what a great film it was going to be, you know, and how long long-lasting it would be so that that's a surprising thing with that. what was it like working with those guys because obviously everyone's so well known in snatch aren't they well they are now but at that point yeah they, you know they, they weren't and Brad Pitt was you know when I said oh you know hi, you know, hi I'm, I'm Dave he went oh hi I'm Brad like, oh you're Brad you know as, as if I wasn't gonna recognize him you know he was really down to earth uh, Jason Statham was, you know, was really good. Let's move on to some of your other films, because you say you've been in lots, and like you say people recognise you Snatch, they don't realise all the other films as well. Which of those other ones have been your favourite ones to make? Uh, I think Command Performance with Dolph Lundgren, uh, that, that was a, a, a good film. You know, not, not really a mainstream film, but for me it was like a lead role with Dolph, who was an iconic figure. I have a fight with him at the end of the film, which is like, oh my God, I'm fighting Ivan Drago. It was great, you know. Uh, and, 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 and the fact that... It, it was my that they needed someone to do a Russian accent, um, and Eric Roberts was was 
booked, but he wouldn't, he couldn't do the accent. I wouldn't do the accent. I chose not to do the accent. So I, I got rushed in there uh, at the end. So it's quite a substantial shoot, you know. With, with um, and it was more intense. It's almost Shakespearean. I know it's like a Dolph Lundgren, but my character was like Shakespearean. He was, you know, he was desperate and desolate and and just really wanted suicide. That you know, and. Uh, that's not a fun role to play, but you know, I put that rather than just being the screaming, shouting uh, action hero, I was or action villain. I was, I was a desperate, yeah. So, how do you approach a role like that when you come up on set? It's, it's all, it's all. Uh, to me, it's all just inside. You know, I've, 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 I'm quite an emotional person, so all those feelings of anger, desperation, despair, you know, lust, everything is 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 in me at some point to a great degree. So I just channel whatever's needed and it comes fairly immediately uh, and hopefully it comes across as it's, it's real as it's genuine in mean, what was um Dolph Lundgren like to work with I mean what was it like doing that fight scene oh he you know he's great you know he's a big strong yeah, athletic man a little taller than I am but probably not quite as heavy um and and he's very open very open and he's not a, a dictator in, in by any means you know he's open to hearing different suggestions and because I was a professional fighter as well um so he, he wanted to hear what, what I would actually do in the fight. What would you do? You know, and uh, you know, so, so that brought some reality into it. When you do action scenes like that, do you have you have to be quite careful because you can get you know injured maybe. Yeah, there is a difference. You know, professional fight, you've you've just got to miss them and make them look good. You know, and uh, you, yeah, there there is that danger. But but unless you're an idiot, you you do <laughs> you do manage to. Yeah, you do manage to like real. Oh no, I wasn't going to hit him. Oh my god, you know, I had to punch who was it? Chris Hemsworth. I had to punch him in the chest in a, in a Snow White, and you know he's a big, strong, tough guy. But I suppose you know I should have pulled the punch a little bit more because I thought it's only in his chest. That I can give him a little one, but um, yeah, I think I think it, it yeah knocked the wind out of him. Uh, but we had some great fights, me, me and Chris, we had some good fun rolling around in, uh, in uh, so I didn't damage him, so you, you, can employ me, you can employ me again, I won't hurt anyone. Tell me a bit more about working on Snow White and the Hudson, and what was that like, and uh, the fight scenes as well. That, that was a lot of fun, and uh, I chose to do a Scottish accent, similar to um, uh, Chris's, because I thought our, our, there was more of a storyline to our character than, than was revealed in the film. So, so I said to Chris, listen, it sounds like me and you, we go back a long way, so let me, I'm going to be Scottish as well. So, so I was glad to be allowed to uh, you know, uh, put the, the accent in there. And the fight scenes were great. One was cut out, uh, because, because you know, I said to condense it a little bit, and that was probably the better fight. Yeah, and it, but it was it was better because it was like messy. There was it looked like a, an unchoreographed fight, like we were scrabbling and scrambling and grabbing each other, and he was biting me and I was tripping him, and uh, so it was like a mess as a real fight would be. You know, you, in a real fight, you don't give, give each, other, each other the space to perform the moves that you see in the movies. In a real fight, you're probably right on top of someone, and there's a lot more grappling involved. Uh, but so it was good to, just to work with Chris and to beat up Thor. It was great. I'm surprised that Fenrir Greyback versus Thor. <laughs> And Fenrir wins. I love it. What do you think? What do you think of Chris's Thor? Because obviously you're having Thor two as well this year, aren't we? I thought you know. I mean, it's it's great. You know, he he looks great, and the films he does are really quality. Yeah, and he's just a regular kind of nice guy, and he, he appreciates everything that's uh, been given to him, and you know, and he deserves it. So he's right. Yeah, I like I like Chris. Yeah. And uh, Snow White and the Huntsman, a second one coming, we believe as well. Yeah, I think I might be dead. I'm not sure. Although I'm not technically, I'm not. I mean, I don't know who's directing it because there's that issue as well, isn't there? Who's directing it? Because because I got on very well with uh, Rupert Sanders, um, and and he, you know he, he liked the stuff I was doing um, in it. So, but so I, I think I might just be wounded, and maybe I could come back come back for the next one. Yeah, with with, with an axe in my back. Because I'm not. You don't see me buried, and it's magic. It's magic. Yeah. What you don't see on camera, yeah. you know, anything could happen, couldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And what would you like to say to your fans who have seen you in all these films out there, Dave? Well, just keep on watching, and hopefully there's you know, bigger and better things to come in the future. And uh, turn up at exhibitions like this and to show your support. And what's next for you? Uh, I've just d done a pilot, actually with Charles Dance. Uh, we're trying to get Macbeth off the ground, uh, uh, you know, a uh, 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 film. You imagine new technology, but, but classic as it should be, you know, not putting it in 1930s Argentina or anywhere. It's like, you know, in the Scottish Highlands, you know. So uh, I've just done that and a, a, another pilot for a, a, a comedy series and then just, you know, looking to get some individual projects uh, off the ground, yeah. 
We look forward to that. Good luck with that all day. Thanks for chatting to us. Yeah, my pleasure.